And we're back in the kitchen at this Friday and boy, this smells so good. Yeah, it does smell good. This is kind of different. Uh, it's a it's a nice dish that you can use like if you have leftover pulled pork from like Labor Day coming up or if you just want to make this for the football season, which I think will be great. It's getting ready to kick off. Yes. But you know what else kicks off today is my son turned 21 years old today. <laughs> Joel, me and mom are super proud of you. Um, we're proud of you all year long. But today what makes it different is today you get a card. So hey, yes, happy love birthday. It. Happy so birthday. We'll get, we'll get started on this and all this has to do, you got to remember when you're cooking quesadillas, you want to go to a medium to low heat, not a okay. medium to high heat because you don't want it to brown up too fast and you want to give it an opportunity to really kind of softly crispen up if that yeah. makes sense to you at all. But That'd be my mistake. We're, <laughs> we're going to take some uh, regular old vegetable oil. We're going to put that on a skillet. If you want to use margarine, you can. Going to twirl that around a little bit. And I use this recipe with the same pork recipe I've used before, and you're going to see that in a minute, but it really turns out kind of nice. Love so it. we're going to add to this only on half cream cheese and kind of spread that onto it. This is a whipped cream cheese, so if you like to use regular, you can, but I think the whip melts a lot faster. So that we're going to add some queso melting cheese, which is just a white cheese. We're going to put onto that some corn, Ooh. some black beans, which I love black beans, good protein there. Yes. We have a mixture of jalapeno, poblano, and Anaheim peppers we're gonna put on there. Some fresh avocado we'll put on there. And then some chopped onion. Now the pork is wonderful. We put that, the uh, recipe's attached. We put that in the oven. This takes about three hours in the oven, but as you can see, it turns out very, very nice. Ooh, we take there. that and we pull that. It's got that special seasoning blend, so we're gonna pull that. Mix that in a little bit so it's nice and juicy. Yeah. We're gonna lay that on top. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. This is good. This is delicious. So we put that aside right there. And again, this cooks very quickly. We're gonna take this side and we're gonna flip it on top here. And then all we want to do is let that gently brown up. As it browns up and the pork is nice and hot in there, yeah. it's gonna help everything kind of melt together. So we're gonna season that with just a pinch of salt and pepper. Again, you don't need a lot because we've got a lot of seasoning on that pork, so it's really going to pull together nicely. But I like a little pinch of salt and pepper just to up it up a little bit. Yes, absolutely. So we're going to put with that a sriracha mayonnaise, and you can put that on the inside if you want. You want to serve it on the outside with it on the side. Sure. I got a little barbecue sauce here too because it is kind it. of a pulled pork. This pork actually has no barbecue sauce in it, it's just the seasoning. Got so it. if you want to add barbecue sauce to it, your favorite variety, you can do that as well. But awesome. it tastes good like on its own. So we're just going to flip that and it only takes like one flip. You can see it's toasting wow. up nicely. It's golden brown. It's golden brown, just like they do <laughs> on TV. Yes. Huh. <laughs> Would you looky there? <laughs> looky there. And then we'll just cut that and happen. At that point, really it's about done. So we just cut the heat on that and we uh, serve that right up. These are great for football. Kids love them. They're portable yeah. foods. You can carry them around at a party for having a party. Mm -hmm. You can cut them at different sizes. It's great as a luncheon entree or just an appetizer. I was going to say, I did see online where uh, there's this uh, lady who shows how she makes lunches for her kids, and they, she made a quesadillas one time, and I was like, Yeah. And the fun I didn't thing think about of quesadillas, that. you can put anything in them, so yes. even leftovers. Yes. So this could be a leftover from the, you know, the weekend for Labor Day. <laughs> we have your pulled pork, you just throw them in there. So. All right. Well, Chef Mark, we will come back and taste this because I am super stoked. Yeah, this can be a good. Oh one. gosh. All right. But before <laughs> we get to doing that, we're going to check in with meteorologist Adam Sherwinski. He's going to tell us about our football forecasts, what everything looks like for tonight, and boy, was it a nice day today. I absolutely loved being outside. So we'll hear all the details from him in a few minutes. 